This video is about the simple or juvenile bone cyst. The simple bone cyst is a benign, fluid-filled cystic lesion of unknown origin. Most often it is located centrally in the metaphysis of long bones. The peak incident lies in the first two decades. Males are more frequently affected than females. In most cases the cyst is asymptomatic and will only be symptomatic in the presence of a fracture, as seen in this case. Radiologically, you find a geographic lytic lesion with a thin sclerotic rim centrally in the medullary cavity. The surrounding bone might be slightly expanded with cortical thinning. Unless there is a pathologic fracture, you won't see a periosteal reaction or cortical breakthrough. In case of a pathologic fracture, the so-called fallen fragment is characteristic for the simple bone cyst. This is a bo broken bone fragment which swims within the cyst and moves in dependent position as the patient changes position. Usually, there is no need to do a CT or MRI scan in order to confirm the diagnosis and it has not been done in this case either. The fracture was treated surgically, as seen here, and the diagnosis interoperatively confirmed. For differential diagnosis, you can think of an aneurysmal bone cyst which lies more eccentrically, though and has a more expensive character. On MRI scan, you find fluid fluid levels, which are uncommon for a simple bone cyst. Another differential diagnosis is the fibrous dysplasia, which contains grown glass density radiographically and has a solid content on MRI. A giant cell tumor is like the aneurysmal bone cyst situated more eccentrically and doesn't show a sclerotic margin. Also, it has a solid content on MRI. The Langerhans cell histiocytosis affects the same age group and is hard to differentiate in, can, in case of a non-aggressive appearance. Also, a complete lytic and chondroma within cartil without cartilaginous matrix can't be differentiated from a simple bone cyst radiographically. Brown tumors are high on top of the differential diagnosis list if other signs of hyperparathyroidism are present like suprarostal and subchondral bone resorption or decreased bone density. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you shared, liked or commented it. You are welcome to subscribe my channel for free. Just click here. If you want to watch another of my videos, click here. If you want to go directly to my channel, click here.